Another enhancement to Solid Edge version 20 was made to feature libraries. If we look in our feature library for our industrial remote, you can see that we have several features that are representative of a battery box. And so if I drag in a particular feature, you can see that now we allow prompts for uh, defining how that particular feature should be placed in our new part. So you can see that it's giving me prompt as to where the reference plane needs to be for this particular web network. And it's telling me that the profile is sitting uh, 0.75 inches off the bottom of the part. Uh, in the past, we would have no indication on where exactly uh, this component should be placed other than the sketch that you see as you drag it in. I'm going to temporarily close this dialog box so we can see our uh, part on the screen. And what I want to do is just create a parallel reference plane off of the bottom of the part and I want to come up 0.75 as the uh, prompt told me. The next thing you see that it gives me this dangling dimension, I'm not sure where that goes, so I'm going to again reopen my dialog and it tells me that that dimension is from some point to the middle side of the battery box. I'm just going to pick up this whole location. The next dimension uh, to be satisfied is to the middle of the long side from the edge of my part. Just pick up the edge of my part and you can see that it's placed in there for me. Now again these prompts are new. Another new feature is the ability to have multiple uh, features from different reference planes in the same feature library. So you can see I have a feature library of all of those components already created. So let's go back over here to our uh, Pathfinder. I'm just going to select that last feature that we created and delete it. Because now what I want to show you is adding this battery box feature, all of these features in one uh, in one feature library. So I drag and drop that in. Again it comes up with the same prompts that I created originally. You can see that the profile plane is telling me it's 0.75 off the bottom just as it did before. So again using the parallel plane option I'm going to come up 0.75 And now when I drop that, it's going to begin adding these uh, particular features from the feature library. Again, if we don't remember our prompts, we can reopen the feature set definition. And again, let's go back and we know what these two particular uh, dimensions go to from previously. And you can see it's going to add our battery box web, but it's also going to add three more features to the inside uh, for the batteries themselves. So if I reopen my box, you can see that it's added the web network, it's added two ribs and mirrored one of those ribs uh, automatically as part of the definition. The next thing we have is another web network. And so what we need to do is to satisfy that web network is have the battery sitting horizontally in three rows and 0.2 inches off the bottom of the part, above the bottom of the part. So again with that information then we can create another parallel reference plane off the bottom of the part. We want to come up 0.2 inches. You can see the blue lines indicate uh, where that's going to be placed so if we just drop our sketch uh, close to that it's going to be able to reattach those dimensions for placement very easily. And so at this point you can see that we're able to add all of those features from different planes uh, all in one feature library. And the final thing to note is if I go back to the feature pathfinder, you'll see that those components that I just added in that feature library, because there are multiple features, that it's automatically added into a group that I could use for a uh, suppress if I wanted to try uh, maybe a different uh, configuration of, of features. Very, very nice functionality in version 20.